Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In the last sessions, we have seen how to create a Google Sheet and how to add the sheets and how to read the sheets from an existing Google Sheet with the help of your Apache Studio. In this session, we'll see some activities related to the write. It means so how we are going to write on the Google Sheet with the help of your Apache Studio. So if you notice my activities panel so i opened the sheets activities so in this you can see there are two activities related to the right those are right cell and right range so first see what is right cell activity so just drag and drop into the designer panel so i already configured the z suit application scope inside the new right cell right cell sequence so here if you notice the properties of this right cell it input contains the cell address sheet name which are pre-populated with a1 and sheet1 by default so which are same as the sheet which we created during the create sheet document and in the same way it has a field spreadsheet id as well as the value which we need to input on the spreadsheet so spreadsheet id we will get from this link so as i shown you the part which is after d is our spreadsheet id so just we need to copy this value here and value for example hello world so this value i just want to print on my sheet okay so these are the inputs so by default it is with sheet 1 and a1 i will just show you how the value prints on the a1 cell so let's run this now so here I configure with my client ID and client secret and so this configure scopes just it will be with the, the drive file so click on ok and let's run now execution is started so we should be able to see the hello world in the a1 cell so the execution is completed we'll check the sheet now so you can see this hello world is printed in the a1 cell so in the same way if you want to print on the other cells like a6 and i'll change the sheet name so here i have add sheet 2 so let's try to print the value in the add sheet 2 okay so let me run this again okay so this is completed in three seconds so in the add sheet 2 here you can see at a6 so this is the a column and the sixth row we have the data hello world so that's all about this write cell activity and another activity which we have related to the right is nothing but the right range so right range this activity is useful when you have a data inside a data table so if you see this activity in the, the properties of right range we have the inputs of uh, data table sheet name sheet spread sheet id and the starting cell so here if you observe these three spreadsheet id will get from the sheet as we already copied i'm just using the same spreadsheet to print my data table so here i have the starting cell value i'll change it from b1 and here inside the sheet one i'm going to update my data table so for creating a data table so we need to use an activity called build data table activity so just search for that in the activities panel so here it has the activity called build data table inside the data table so just drag and drop inside this designer panel and here if you click on the data table so you can see a table like this so if you want to keep a column name you can keep the column name like this so i will update like uh, roll number of type uh, integer so click on ok so next thing is 
student name this is of type string and if you want to change the properties you can change the properties as well just click on ok and here you can add the names so one like Leo to Richard three yes we know so like this you can configure the values inside a data table if you want to extend the columns also you can extend it so by clicking on this add column and you can also add the rows by clicking the enter in the each row you can get a single row again and again so like this we will get a data table so if you see the properties so the output of this data table is a data table so we need to configure a variable to hold the data table so here i'm going to use dt as my data table output variable so here we need to input the data table value which is the output variable of build data table okay so dt is my data table variable so i am going to input into the google spreadsheet with the help of right range activity from the range of b1 and if you see the output of this right range it contains the updated range so let me copy this into a variable so like uh, i'll update this name as range and we'll print the value of this range in the output so for that i'm using this right line activity so here i will place this variable range and here if you notice there is one option called include headers so headers are nothing but the column names suppose if you want to keep the column names inside the google sheet you just need to check this one or else if you want to ignore those so you just need to uncheck and then only the values of the students will be appear in the spreadsheet from the range p1 okay so let's run this again so once the execution is started a new data table will be developed and it will be printed on the google spreadsheet so here you can see from b1 as we selected the headers yeah it is checked so that's why it is printing the row number and the student name so the data you can check here so first one is leo second is richard third is venu okay so like this we use this write cell activity and write range activity to write the data into a spreadsheet with the help of your past studio that's all for this session i hope you like this video please do like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos on your path studio if you have any queries please update in the comment section thank you